Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market. This is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, October 6th, 2020. And uh, if you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to subscribe by hitting this support button here in the corner, hitting the like button and the bell button in order uh, to see our newest videos. So let's get to it. So first of all, we are looking at uh, the Great British Pound and the US Dollar, and we have rallied quite nicely in the trading session today. We came close to the 50 moving average, however, we did not manage to get all the way to the 50 moving average. But at this point, I do believe we'll go to towards the 50 moving average. What happened significantly today was that the US Dollar uh, depreciated, or the US Dollar Index depreciated significantly, and of course, that is a good boost for uh, this pair. Um, However, I don't expect us to uh, to uh, rally. Uh, we'll rally towards the 50 moving average, but I would be surprised if we broke the 50 moving average. I would expect us to go towards the 50 moving average and then turn around. The reason being is that um, you have the Brexit uh, situation in Britain, you have uh, a worsening economy in Britain, and you have a, a lot of different factors that basically uh, work against uh, this pair. So I do believe that we will turn around uh, when we get to the 50 moving average and we'll head back towards the 200 moving average and or the 200 the 150 moving average uh, within this area here. If we were to break the 50 moving average there is technically nothing um, above here that is um, major resistant could run into a fair amount of resistance here however uh, it will be uh, basically all the way back to the top but I don't expect that to happen I do believe that we'll basically turn around here and break down if you look at the technical indicators they are fairly uh, bullish at this point the MACD is uh, well, pointing to higher levels the same goes for the RSI the same goes for the stochastic uh, however the bullish amount is basically at its top at this point so that would be an indication that will hit the 50 moving average and then turn around if you look at the US dollar yen we rallied towards the 50 moving average and then we gave um, some of the gains back with yesterday's video I also spoke that we have rallied towards the 50 moving average several times before if that breaks, then we have this trend line above acting as support. And we also have the 100 moving average, which has been significant support for several months now. So even though if they rally all the way towards the 100 moving average, this market will most likely break down significantly. Uh, if we break down, then we will go all the way down towards this uh, support trend line here uh, at around 103. If you look at technical indicators, they are mixed. Uh, the MACD is quite bullish. The RSI is quite uh, bullish as well, but we are about to be overbought. And that is also an indication that we most likely will uh, turn around here and uh, and uh, head south. Uh, the stochastic is taking flat at this point. Do believe it will turn around and to indicate bearish momentum. We have run into and uh, this uh, 50 moving average that is uh, acting as resistant at this point. If you look at the euro and US dollar, we ran into the 50 moving average and and broke down again. Um, 50 moving average at this point will be significant uh, resistant. I do believe that we will trade in between these two, um, uh, two lines here of uh, support and resistant. It's around 200 pips. Uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, if we were to break through the 50 moving average, then of course we'll go to these highs again. However, I don't expect us to go any higher than the highs of 12.00. If we break to the 100 moving average, then we'll go all the way down to this level of 150 uh, uh, moving average, which is at 11, uh, 30, uh, 40. Yeah, 40. So, but at this point, I do believe for the Fushield future, we'll just be um, trading in between these two uh, resistance support lines. If we look at technical indicators, 
they are fairly bullish at this point. Um, the MACD has just crossed the signal line indicating bullish momentum. Uh, the RSI is also heading, pointing to higher uh, level high price levels and the same goes for the stochastic and the Bulger bat. So we'll probably have one, two more days where we try to test the 50 moving average. We need basically a can green candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to indicate that we'll go higher from here. If you look at the Aussie US dollar, we, well, technically nothing happened today. We ran into resistance at the 40 exponential moving average, broke down, and then we're just, well, at the same place. Uh, not a lot of movement in this pair today. Uh, if you look at technical indicators, they are fairly uh, bullish at this point. Uh, MACD crossing the signal line, getting bullish momentum. The RSI is quite flat, but the stochastic is quite bullish, and so is the, and the Bollinger Band is indicating that it has hit the moving average in the middle here and it's indicating that it will go down from here. If we were to break down, then the 100 moving average and this trend line here will act as support. Above, we have the 50 moving average, and if that breaks, then we'll go to these levels, previous uh, resistant level here, uh, which will act as resistant. If you look at uh, the US dollar, Canadian dollar, uh, we well, very similar to the Aussie US dollar, uh, we broke down uh, and, and ended up just above the 40 exponential moving average. This is, um, at the moment, a market that most likely will head lower towards this 1299 level. If you look at the MACD, it is crossing the signal line, the bullish moment, bearish momentum, RSI is also heading uh, south, uh, the bullet the stochastic has been headed out for quite some time. We saw this massive um, rejection last week, and the bullish about has a lot of room to the downside. So, if we break down, then we of course run into the 50 uh, moving average. We will also find some support in this area here, just the, the underneath the 50 moving average. However, of um, if we were to break upwards, then the level of 1341 has been uh, proven to be significant resistant. And then we also have the 300 moving average just above. But at this point, I do believe we'll go down and retest these lows before we uh, go higher. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you would like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest video. Good luck and uh, thank you very much.